of them. Okay, so here we go. First match of the evening. This is the start of the Brojo Cup number 102. First match is going to be none other than BJ versus Tetsuya. Both Japanese uh, Jap Japanese uh, citizens living in Japan with the Japanese nationality and both rocking none other than Johnny. It's going to be a war of the mist finer if I might say. And as for now, BJ definitely has the advantage, but it's yeah, managed to force BJ to pop the burst. And now it's back to the neutral. BJ having the corner pressure, forcing Tetsuya to pop the yellow ruin cancel. Very nice backdash from Tetsuya, not getting hit by this 2k from BJ. BJ getting hit by the 4hs right there from Tetsuya. Tetsuya again with the 4hs. Could not get the juggle, but does get the close S counter hit and should be able to get a wall break with none other than the wild assault bj popping the <laughs> yellow roman cancel and tetsia baiting the tech attempt again does not juggle but does have the advantage uh, and goes for the instant overhead using the uh using the uh instant the aerial uh, mist liner okay here we go and Boom! We see that Tetsuya pop the burst right there. And BJ getting the wall break. Affiliate to Kinenbi, Omedito. Oh, is it? Oh, Zenzen Kizuka na kattan desu yo. Ah, so nan desu ka? Ah, arigato zaimasu. Zenzen Kizuka na kattan desu yo. Arigato zaimasu. Thank you very much for the, uh, the affiliate anniversary. I actually wasn't aware. <laughs> Damn, it's today! Holy freaking lord! Okay, that's cool! Arigatouzaimasu! Zenzen shiranakattan desu yo! Zenzen kizukanakattan desu yo! So apparently today is my affiliate anniversary. So that means that today is the day that I became a uh, Twitch affiliate. I didn't even realize, but my chat was here to remind me. Arigatouzaimasu, honto ni! Mo zenzen kizukanakattan desu yo! Jitsuwa! Da kedo arigatouzaimasu! Eto... Nani? Eto remind shite itadaki. Thank you very much for reminding me. And that being said, here we go with Tetsuya in, uh, well, actually the other way around, BJ and the wall break using the overdrive, and BJ getting the first match, actually, one-upping Tetsuya. Let's see if Tetsuya can actually manage to bring it back. It should probably be the case. Uh, Tetsuya did manage to get one round off of BJ, so that means that he definitely has the potential of at least, uh, well giving a run for the money of BJ. And here we go with the corner pressure and BJ finding the small gaps in the offense of Tetsuya, managing to get out of it, uses the instant overhead potential of the aerial misfiner combined with the um, the card in order to get a juggle and to wall break. That being said, Tetsuya back, oh, and the freaking neutral, and Tetsuya getting hit by BJ, who then resorts to using Overdrive and the Underground Mist Finder for the kill. BJ looking very good right now. BJ also a very young player, by the way. I do believe he's like 16 to 17 years old, so still in high school, and even though it's the case, he plays extremely good. Manages to actually, wow, bring a freaking train on Tetsuya right there. Not enough to kill, definitely enough to wound. Tetsuya standing on his last leg, gets the closest counter hit. He does have the burst, goes with the miss, finding the closest counter hit with the overdrive. Kaboom, King, you go down. And ooh, Tetsuya not managing to not get hit by the yellow Roman cancel, unfortunately for him, and gets hit by the standing hs by bj bj takes the second match as well very nicely done let's see if tetsia can manage to bring it back he is down two matches so it needs to bring down well needs to win three straight in a row if he wants to see in the winner's bracket very nice bait right there of the six feet forcing bj to pop the burst both cards are on deck no puns intended Tetsuya with the 4 HS, didn't want to continue even though it was a counter hit right there. Probably didn't manage to confirm in time. That being said, look at the... Ooh, the big risk bar. This is going to do a ton of damage. And Tetsuya not using the tension bar to get a hard knockdown. Would rather just keep his... Ah, uh, his bar. I hope it's not going to come back and bite him in the butt. Ah, uh, he does have two bars. 
So it's definitely not over till it's over. Goes with the freaking dash to pursue BJ, trying to put some distance between him and Tetsuya. And Tetsuya manages to take one round still. Two matches down. Wow, BJ making good use of the very threatening dash forward into the missed finer of Johnny in order to keep the pressure on going. And Tetsuya forcing the freaking burst from BJ. Things are looking pretty good for Tetsuya, not gonna lie. Again, not blocking that yellow Roman cancel, but that backdash from Tetsuya in order to prevent getting grabbed was very, very nicely done from him. Goes with the wild assault to secure that hard knockdown. And here we go with BJ trying to bring back some momentum back. He is up. Ooh. This time around, BJ getting hit by the yellow Roman cancel. Ah, uh, this is looking pretty bad. Not enough to kill, though. One more opening. Still not enough, but the freaking spacing of Tetsuya secures him this third match. We are 2-2-1 two, two, currently in favor of BJ. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go. Back to the Miss Finer Mind game. Uh, just once again, I'm checking real quick. I think I... One second. うん、入っちゃったか分からないんですあ。ああ、オッケー。1 Here we go with the Miss Finer from Tetsuya, trying to put some distance. Got hit though, forced to pop the burst. This is a match point for Tetsi for uh, BJ. Ooh, BJ tried to go for a very, very cheeky uh, fake cross up. Uh, and here we go with the closest. BJ with the wall break, goes for the overdrive. Yep. Boom! And just like this, BJ takes it 3 2 1. None other than Amato versus Naito. One second, guys. Okay, so first match goes to Amato. I'm really sorry I have some trouble shooting right now. Okay, so, uh, sorry for the wait. 
And here we go with actually Naito doing a good job of keeping Amato in the corner. That being said, Amato did manage to get the first uh, win. So he's currently in the lead. Just need to check a bit the chat. Okie dokie, and back to the neutral, Amato down life by a lot, ah, but only one hit is all that is required to bring it back. He does have burst as well, goes for the teleport. Ah, good lord, look at this pressure, and Amato manages to take it still, even though Naito had such a significant life lead, man. Amato definitely no slouch, very, very strong player. If you let him in, you are in for a very, very bad time. Okay, and back. Ooh! Almost got the hit in. Okay, Naito uh, goes with the Sickle Storm. Amato with the... Ooh, command grab. Gonna get that very, very lovely afro. Naito forced to respect the explosion from the afro. Again, afro, uh, afro by the way. And it's back to the neutral. What is Naito going to do? Naito really fighting for his life, trying not to get hit or at least get caught by Amato. Oh, and the burst made, but Amato failed to confirm it, but still got the kill. Very nicely done by Amato. Gets the second match. Hmm. Okay, one, one more second, guys. Sorry. And here we go with the perfect man from Night Naito. Very nicely done. Okay, here we go with... Oh, wow, that was a godlike teleport from Amato. Goes for the save jump. And just like this, Naito up one to the uh, one to one, was it? one to two. And yeah, Naito not out of this yet. Very nicely done. Okay, we're good. Okay, sorry. Uh, everything uh, turned out good. We are good to go. And here we go with Naito with oh Lord mm. with the Axel Bomber. Amato forced to pop the burst. And here we go with the sickle um, mix, I suppose. <laughs> I forgot how it's called. Again with the sickle storm. And Amato with the jumping goes with the spear, throws the weight out. Naito doing a good job of just keeping his distance. The bomb is out. A little bit too far to hit Naito, though, which is very unfortunate. And here we go with the freaking crossover mix, mix, mix. Naito forced uh, to take the Okizeme, but wakes up with buttons and manages to hit. Uh, Amato and take the second round of this fourth match. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out for its counter hit. Naito with the corner positioning. Almost got hit by this two, uh, the 2S right there. Oh, here we go with the snail. 
Very nice dive from Amato, but Naito, man, with the confirms, gets the wall break. Amato-san in a pretty dire situation. Oh, Lord! What was that? That was so... Oh, Lord, the freaking waterfall. No, it's not waterfall. It's the um, rain water. Not the... Hmm? The rain water. The rain water, yeah. Not the waterfall. What am I talking about? Anyways, Naito bringing it back, yo. Two to two. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Too bad I couldn't quite see the first, uh, you know, the, the beginning of this match, man. The, wa the waterfall. <laughs> the waterfall. That's all exactly. I got my I got my gaming lores mixed up right there. <laughs> the the rain water. Sorry, it's the rain water. <laughs> Good lord. Anyways, here we go with the rain water <laughs> and the jump in uh, HS counter hit, but Amato with the confirm straight into the uh, wild assault. Has the corner positioning. Uses the wild assault to keep the pressure on. Goes with the command grab. Oh, didn't go for a, a safe jump. Didn't light fire on the wig, but just happened to do it right now, which actually turned out great for him. Couldn't get the kill, even though he had it right there. This might come back to ki to to oh! <laughs> the the fight of the Roman cancel right there. Okay, Mato on match point. Is he gonna be able to seal the deal? We shall see. And here we go with the jump in 2K 2D from Naito. Naito trying to bring it back. Goes with the single storm. Ooh! This time around, Mato appearing in the air, goes for the command grab. What is gonna happen? Very nice use of the uh, the wild reversal. I forgot what it's called, but it's fine. And the mix, mix, mix for the corner pressure. Goes for the other side. Bates the burst. Should be able to get yeah, a pretty nice combo. The, the what's it called? Uh, corner carry combo. Went for the cross up, but Naito was able to block it. Very nicely done. And oh, the empty low for the Kilomato sending night. Okie dokie, breads and cookie. Arigatou gozaimasu, Tira san. Gambate kudasai. And here we go. Cal versus Sutera. Who is going to take it? Nagori Yuki versus Viking. Who will come out on top? We shall see in a couple of minutes. And both are letting the intro rock as it should. Heaven or Hell, who is going to come out on top as the best samurai of this game? That being said, I don't know if we can consider Johnny as a samurai though. But yeah, probably these two, we can definitely say they are samurais. So who is going to come out on top? We shall see. Nagori Yuki or Baiken, Cal or Stella. Who's gonna bring it back home? Let's go. Both rocking the blue uh, color, by the way, which is pretty cool. First blood drawn by Cal with the forest, forcing Stella to pop the burst. The Ronin rumble indeed. <laughs> we go very nice confirm from Cal and the command grab minigame just started but already ended into the Wasude Yuki for the kill. First round goes to Cal with a perfect nonetheless. Very nicely done by Cal. Let's see how this pans out. Stella definitely no slouch, extremely strong biking player. Very, very top uh, notch player. That being said, Cal does have his fair share amount of experience being uh, online or offline. He regularly participates to offline events. Ooh, tries to go for a very nice back. Bukyo, nice blocks by Stella. Has the freaking, what, what was that? That was sick. Sick. Uh, position swap right there from Stella using the Kabari. Got the jump in, got the confirms, goes for the sick combo. Look at this, Stella. Stella, what is you doing? Stop styling, you you crazy man. What are you doing? That was sick. Good stuff from Stella, man. Always a pleasure seeing him uh, rock back. And he always comes up with the sickest combos ever that nobody uses. That is crazy, man. Good stuff. That being said, Cal, no slouch at all. Managed already to beat Stella several times in previous iterations of the tournament. I cannot say who won the last time, but definitely no slouch. And things are looking pretty good for him. And here comes the 6HS for the kill. Cal takes the first match. What is Stella going to do? But it's cool. It's really just the first match. First match is usually um, information gathering time. So Stella will definitely put these information to use. Goes for the... Front aerial dash, blends straight on Cal. That being said, benefits from a counter hit, but man, Cal in the air, picking Stella out of the air with the jumping beat. And Stella uh, finding his way in. 
Oh, but man, Cal with the blocks right there. Managed to successfully block the uh, Kabari, the, not the Kabari, the uh, Yul's Onsen. Here we go with Cal and the juggle. Just one more opening is all that is needed, and Cal was definitely gonna go full bar right there. <laughs> going for the down, uh, low high, low high mix ups. Big 6p counter hit start of the round. Still up pressing buttons right there. Ooh, getting hit by the 6 HS counter hit. Ah, oh, this is gonna kill. Yeah, this is death. Good lord, look at the damage. Ah, uh, Guilty Gear. Four hits, 60% of your health gone. This is Guilty Gear indeed. Good stuff from Cal. Still in pretty dire spirit. I'm not going to lie. That being said, it is not over till it's over. If one person can definitely do it, it is Stella. Nice blocks by Stella. However, forced to pop the burst right there. Gets hit by the 2HS counter it. Stella looking pretty bad right now. Oh! Yeah, you can see Cal try to go for the command grab. Nice recognition from Stella that Cal had, um, how do you say, it? committed to um, the 2HS. That being said, man, Cal with the confirms. Go straight for the uh, Roman cancel to get an extended, uh, to get extended pressure. Man, and the back dashes too of Cal have been pristine, man. Almost could have gotten the kill right there if he confirmed. Got hit by the grab. What is the mix? Grab again for the mix. What? What is going on? That was definitely not intended, but it still worked out for Stella. Should be able to get the kill with the jumping S with the uh, wall break for the kill. Very nicely done. And on to the next battle. And oh lord, that was an unfortunately miss. 2HS, nice punish from Cal. Didn't believe in the follow-up though. Maybe he wanted to bait the burst. That being said, big counter hit from Stella. I guess the aerial confirm and look at this freaking combo. Oh, Stella with the burst bait goes for optimization station damage right here. What is gonna be the mix up? What is gonna be the. Oh, okay. Nice back dash. The back dash from Stella and the recognition, the confirm straight into the Roman cancel for the juggle and the kill. Stella takes the third match. Is this the beginning of the comeback? We shall see. Stella steady, steadily getting more and more used to Cal game style. Play style, I mean, uh, rather, not game style. Here we go, the Kabari, not the heavy one, so that means that the um, opponent is not tied to Baigen. Here we go with the corner pressure, goes for the, the, the Tatami Gaishi. Oh, lockdown, and look at this! Oh no, he tried to go... Uh, was that a Yuzon Sen? That was unfortunate, but nice recognition from Stella that Cal was gonna go for a wide Roman cancel in order to catch the back dash from, from Stella. Ooh, Lord, nice block. Almost got the... Almost got killed. Ah, oh, no, Stella trying to read that command grab. Careful there, and it makes time, and you dead. You dead. Oh no, you're not! Is that gonna be... No! Oh! Nice stuff from Stella. Use the Roman Castle just to be sure. Make sure that Cal was not gonna use the burst. Or if he did, he would be able to punish it. And that was actually genius from Stella. Good stuff. Because if he woke up and just went for one hit, it would have not been able to kill anyways. So Roman Castle straight takes care of both uh, the, the follow-up juggle necessary in order to get the kill and also the uh, potential uh, burst that Cal actually used. And basically did two bird one stone right there good stuff from Stella. okay that being said <laughs> cal already up one more round nice abari from stella oh, almost got hit by the two hit oh no kabari here no oh, good instant block from stella managed to punish the the red card right there from uh from cal uh stella oh again with their bar finding some small gaps in the offense of Cal right there still is. Goes for the age version of the Kabari again with the Kabari. Good lord. Uh, this is this is scary. This is scary. <laughs> I'm not tied to you. You're tied to me. This is what Cal is saying right now. Uh, try to bait something. Well, I'll try to, yeah. Oh, it goes with a freaking command grab right at the end for the kill. Cal. <laughs> Merci beaucoup, Akita. Ça fait toujours plaisir. And... Here we go! This is the match of not the year, but it's definitely going it's definitely bound to be an interesting match. Fujishiro versus Hagera. 
Because you see a very strong Eno player versus Hagera. Hagera, everybody knows him. If you've been on the Brojo Cup before, you definitely know Hagera. Extremely strong Jackal player. Won the Brojo Cup several times in a row, if I might say. Uh, not the most recent one, but I do believe he did have, like, second round in the, the last uh, GGST Brojo Cup that we did two, two weeks ago. I don't remember exactly who won it, but uh, Hagera was definitely in the top eight. That being said, here we go with Fujishiro, and the confirms goes for the wall break. But first, does the Fortissimo for guaranteed hard knockdown? What is going to be the mix? And here we go with a very nice read jumps right there from Fujishiro. Ah, uh, yeah, I wanted to get rid of all of these pesky minions. And here we go. What is going to... Yeah, you have to hold it. You have to hold it. You have to hold it. And unfortunately, the minions are enough to get the kill. I gotta take the first round. Let's see how this pans out. And on to the next battle. Vishido versus Hagera. Hagera has... Ooh, that was an instant block. He probably could have gotten something out of it. Very nice. Oh, Try to go for the um, the stroke right there. But Hagera had already this option covered up. Did a 2D counter hit. And it is now suffering time. Hagera with the knockdown. But it's going to be... Uh, Oh man, I got not afraid to just run straight up underneath the uh, da, 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 um, chemical love. Unfortunately for Fujishiro, Hagera takes the first match pretty convincingly. Hagera has a heck ton of experience in this matchup. Extremely strong to get something going on uh, when you're facing him and you are playing, you know. Algeri with a close-up pressure. I got again hit by the 2k right there. Fujishiro not confirming. Got the confirm this time around. Forcing Hagira to pop the burst. Hagira taking his distance not to get hit by the chemical love. Goes for the extension. Uh, Fujishiro with the chemical love. And here we go. It's time for the minion. Ah, good stuff from Hagira. Goes straight into the overdrive for the kill. Yeah, boom. Oh, no, too far. You hate to see it. Oh, and the Fujishiro going with the Ajito. Ah, try to go. I'm sure he went for the Fortissimo after a hover, but it didn't come out correctly. And here we go with the freaking Fuzzy. Good stuff from Fujishiro. Takes it. Good stuff. Let's see how this pans out. On to the next battle. If Fujishiro wins this one, he will put one on the deck. Almost got hit by the two, six, six feet. Nice blocks, and it's... Yeah, it is block time. Here we go. <laughs> Straight into the corner for the wall break. And the Illusion Driver for the heavy knockdown. Kaboom! Look at the damage, good lord. Okay, what's gonna be the follow-up? We shall see. Big jump in right there from Agatha. I couldn't quite get anything else out of it. Uh, too far to get the follow-up. Good stuff from Fujishiro. Goes for the low, goes for the high. Nice blocks from... Oh, Hagera, man. Hagera, the blocks are there. Ah, nice confirms from Fujishiro. Fujishiro with... Oh, we got the bait. Kubo, the... Not full combo, but still, it's going to do a lot of damage. Kaboom. With the hard knockdown. Hagera probably going to use the reverse... Uh, the No. Oh, gets hit by the Wild Assault. Fujishiro putting one on the board, yo. Good stuff, yo. Let's see how this pins out. What is Hagera gonna do? We shall see in a couple of seconds. Hagera feeling the heat right now. Here we go. Nice distance taking from Fujishiro. Goes for the stroke. Gets hit though right there on block. And has to eat the pressure, of course. Ah, uh, too far, no! And gets hit by the 2D counter yet. Oh, no, too far to get something going. Oh, very nice pacing, man, from Hagara. Just out of the range of the Ajito. No, oh, nice block! Fujishiro getting the... Oh, goes for the low! Where am I? You shall see. Or not. 4 Simo hard knockdown coming up. Hagara, though, does have to borrow attention. He has a get out of jail free card. Nice blocks. Oh, gets the punish again on the nice. Damn, Fujishiro definitely up to his game, man. Good stuff. Almost got the no. He would have gotten the freaking punish right there on the 2D. Ah, big, big damage incoming. And the Fortissimo for the wake up option. Not enough to kill. Goes for the re jump, the jumping D for the kill. Fujishiro taking the 
freaking the lead, yo. Good lord. Queen Shield playing super good right now. Goes for the stroke to catch the back dash. What is gonna be? Oh, nice 6 speed from Fujishiro. Okay, ooh. Okay, Fujishiro really taking things slow. Does not want to overextend. Nice bait from Hagara, yo. What is gonna be? Ah, uh, the pressure. Ah, uh, no. And Fujishiro taking the counter hit right there. Oh, Lord. Nice confirms from Fujishiro. Goes for the re-jump. Again with the... Oh, Lord. The delayed hop, man. Finally forcing Fujishiro. Uh, Hagara to pop the yellow Roman cancel. Tries to go for the... Uh, for a back dash, man, but ah, uh, yeah, and you have to eat it. Nice. Oh, Lord. Oh, Fujishiro, no, doesn't get the kill, though. You're definitely gonna regret this. Oh. Oh, it's so. Oh, no, and the kill goes to Hagara. That was so close, though. One match, one round apiece. Who's gonna take it? Good Lord. Fujishiro definitely up to his game ever since last time, man. Goes for the low. Good stuff. Good stuff from Footish Hero. Goes for the heavy. No, the yellow room. The, the wild assault. Nice stuff from Fuji, yo. Things are looking pretty good, yo. What is this? I've never seen that before. And this should be the kill. No! Not enough. This is definitely going to be wild reverse. No! And it's the grab instead. With a perfect, nevertheless, Fujishiro. Wow. This is crazy, man. Fujishiro up 2 to 1 against Hagiara. Yo, is he going to send Hagiara the losers? That would be crazy. That would be freaking crazy, yo. Look at Yuri with the close-up pressure. Fujishiro looking pretty good, but right now has to deal with the offense. What are you going to do? And here we go with the corner. Ah, the blocks are unreal, but there's only so many times you can block. Ah, uh, good lord. And here we go with uh, the minion pressure in the corner. Fujishiro not overextending. <laughs> Goes for the very, very long. Oh no, he doesn't get the, uh, the jump in. And this is gonna be death. Yep, that is there. Oh no, it's not actually. Okay, one more chance for Fujishiro. Yeah, I gotta just need one more hit. Goes for the Ajito. Vegeta! Yeah, one more hit. And yeah. Oh, Lord! And the grab for the kill. Nice awareness from... From uh, Hagiara. Okay, up one round uh, during this third match. He has the advantage. Very nice start of the round. Ajito with... Uh, uh, by Fujishiro. Let's see. Oh, nice standing kick right there. Ah, Lord. And man, Hagiara covering all of these possibilities. Ah, uh, tries to get rid of the, yeah, the minion with the standing key, but, yeah, the jumping arc, the, the landing arc of the minion is really not in favor of Fujishiro. Oh, nice stroke right there, no stick! Nice grab. Okay, what's the follow-up? Let's see how this pans out. Wow, the mix is real! Good lord! Fujishiro playing super good, yo. Ooh, the 6 speed Not too far to get the kill! Uh, Lord, and here we go with the, uh, the chemical Leov. Careful, careful. Uh, yeah. Oh, and the stand, the 2P for the kill. Yo, Fujishiro on match point. If he wins this one, he will be sending Hagara in the loser's bracket. Here we go with the Jito. The Vegeta. Oh, Lord. Golden. Oh, nice stuff. And go, oh, Fujishiro's in. She didn't use a OS to get rid of the two, um... To make it so that uh, Hagara uh, couldn't backdash. This is unfortunate. Uh, things are looking pretty bleak for him. Uh, how many freaking overheads are you supposed to block? I heard you like the overheads. And again with the... Oh, yeah. This is death. And Hagara saves it. Yeah. Saves it by the, by the skin of his teeth. We are going down to the last match. Fujishiro 2 versus Hagara 2. Who's going to take it? We shall see. Good lord. One more match. The winner of this one takes it all. Well, all of this set, that is. <laughs> Who's gonna take it? Nice, just instant block right there. Just block, I'm sorry. Here we go with the jump in. Hagiara with the pressure. Tries to go for a grab. Yeah, come on, it. 
Oh lord, nice! Over it, not over it. Okay, nice stuff from- nice conversion from Fujishiro, gonna get the hard knockdown. Let's see how this pans out. Tries to go for an empty low, but the bag dash from Hagerame. Woo! And again with the freaking bait up! No, he drops it! Why, Fujishiro? No, you're not allowed to drop this! You are not allowed to drop this! You are not- Oh, and you're going to counter it! Yeah, you can see Hagerame- Yeah, trying to bait that yellow room and cancel. Oh! Oh, Lord! And again, man! Not enough! Too far to get the kill with the Kevin goal! And you can see how I get up. No! Uh, this is looking pretty bleak. And the low for the kill. I got a tick to up. Oh, freaking. Oh, it was so close for Fujishiro though. Okay, I get out on match point. Oh, Ajito. Here we go. Okay, this time catches the back dash. Close for the hard knockdown with the Wild Assault. Goes really deep and very nice use of the 2k for Hagara in order not to get hit by the Ajito. And it's going to be Wild Assault. Heavy knockdown time. No, it got baited. But it's still okay. It's not okay though. Oh, Lord. Nice. Stroke and gets hit by the 6 a chance counter hit. The bar is real. Nice confirm from... Oh, from Fujishiro. Here we go with... Oh, the little minion got killed. And it's minion time. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, no reaction right there on the... On the minion. Oh, God, this is gonna be dead. Uh, did Fujishiro pop the burst? I hope he did. And he did it. And it is. I got us win. Good confirm from Ayala takes it 3 to 2. Went down to the the next battle. Kohide versus Marone. Kohide, a uh, returnee. He has been participating to so many different Brojo Cup. I cannot even know how many he has participated to up until now. Just a heck ton of, of them. That's all I know. But uh, yeah, he's been, uh, he has won several um, Brojo Cups before. Probably looking forward to trying to win this one as well. That being said, Maron, also a returnee to the Brojo Cup, extremely strong high player. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if he manages to steal the dream of Kohide. Oh, a very nice close S counter hit. Maron going for the extension station, should be able to get the kill there, and does with the, um, the, uh, the, the DP. Very nicely done by Maron. Now to the next battle. Here we go to 4HS. Maron using... Moron using you while the salt to extend his pressure. That being said, Kohide with the confirms on the counter edge should be able to get the wall break using even Tanya. And does. Look at the damage, good lord. Okay, Kohide going with the oh with the safe jump, but unfortunately Maron using the reflect shield in order to put some this thing. Oh and Kohide with the bait of the burst. This should be it. Yes, it definitely is. Okay, Kohide, not out of this yet. Doesn't want to give the first match to his opponent for free. Here we go, close S. Nice and bar from Kohide. Finds the opening, goes with the close S. Does not confirm it, though. Here we go, the safe jump and the DP from Maron. Maron is very, very DP friendly. <laughs> he loves it. He loves DPing. So you need to be careful. Nice confirm from Kohide. Kohide again with... Um, with him not confirming the close S, man. This is kind of unfortunate. Big 4HS counter hit, and Kohide takes the win with another 4HS right there. First match goes for uh, Kohide. Let's see how this pans out. And on to the next battle. Let's see how this pans out. Nice 4HS right there from Maron. Catches the back death from Kohide. Ooh, no whiff punish from Maron. I'll try to get out of the corner. Uses the uh, air, the jumping D in order to delay his uh, landing. Manages to punish Kohide's attempt of entiring him. We're on with the extension. Roman cancel with the wall break. Oh wow, Kohide is still just going straight. Unfortunately for him, he gets scooped by the stun dipper. Roman cancel into death by Maron. Ooh, almost got the whiff punish there. A wee bit too late. Okay, nice back dashes from Kohide gets out of 
pressure, but man, Moron already back in. Wow. What did Moron try to do there? Nice grab for Moron. Gets the knockdown. Goes for the um for the uh, back uh, IAD right there into the uh, jumping S. Ah man, and Kohide man with the confirms goes straight into the Ventania. We're gonna be looking at a safe jump probably. Here we go with the safe jump. Big stun dipper counter hit catches the back dash from Kohide. Moron getting a corner carry of his own. Fails to get it though. Kohide getting grabbed. Oh, and waking up with this shit. Yeah. Oh, and the blocks. Good lord. Oh, Kohide tried to go for a grab. Unfortunately for him, he was a little bit too hungry on that one. And Moron takes this opportunity to put one on the board as well. One match apiece. What is Kohide gonna do? Moron, no slouch, man. Moron, extremely strong. Kaipler have been saying this ever since he first joined the Brojo Cup. Extremely dynamic and explosive Kai, man. The type he really, really like to see. Big eye back IAD into the jumping HS counter hit. And Kohide again, man, with your bar. What is gonna happen? Oh, Lord, that was a pretty interesting cross up Pudra Dark, but yeah, it's, it's cool. Anyways, Moron force pop the burst, gets the 6p counter hit. Oh lord. Oh, and the stun dipper again. Catching Goida trying to back up a wee bit too much. Not enough to get the kill. And Moron with the tick pressure gets the burst from Kohide. Oh, that must have been... So oh, that's such a heartbreaker for, for Kohide. Big stuff from Moron. Definitely knowing that Kohide loves to burst, man. Anyways, that being said, Rugo with the corner pressure. Koi did not. Preventing Moron from using the Fudra Dark. Moron with the closest counter hit. Gotta go for the Secret Age. For the hard knockdown. Goes for the safe standing K and gets the kill with the closest counter hit. With a perfect. Nevertheless, thank you very much for the uh, follow Mega Businessman and welcome to the Bro Joes. Oh, and here we go, man. Maroon up two to one, man. Good lord. Okay, Kohide definitely gonna wanna change stuff up. Oh, gets hit by the close S counter hit. Does not pop the burst. Maroon with the freaking... Oh, lord. Catches the burst of Kohide. Kohide burst a wee bit too quick. Gonna have to endure that, that hard knockdown. Goes for the stun dipper, and this is gonna be death. Two perfects in a row, by the way. Good lord, Maroon. Out of his mind. Okay, what is gonna be the. Oh, very nice double dash right there to catch the bag dash from Maroon. Maroon again with the, the DP, man. Close counter hit. Closest counter hit. Oh, man. Maroon. Ah, uh, gets hit by the Puente. Still, man, Koide does not confirm his closest. This is unfortunate for him. At least Quaid is gonna get a hard knockdown there. Not enough to kill, obviously, but... Goes for the jumping HS counter it straight into the Ventana to not give a chance to Moron to burst. And rightfully so, by the way. Moron would have probably bursted if he didn't do it. A big 6p counter hit. Here we go with the... Oh, the stun edge. Kohide, man. Neutralizing, yeah, the standing HS and S of... Uh, Moron using the 6p counter hit, uh, the 6p. Ooh, Lord, that dash to go underneath the Fruitra Dark was sick. Let's see. Oh, Moron getting hit by the uh, Traval. The simple tour, I'm sorry. And Koide should be able to seal the deal with the Ventania. Following the wall splat. 2 2 2. 2 to 2. Here we go. We have a match, a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Who's going to take it? Then we've only gotten freaking ties from the beginning of this tournament. It's crazy. Anyways, good stuff. Uh, hopefully everything's going okay. One second, guys. Let me... Okay, we're good to go. Wait. Oh, you're good to go. Anyways, uh, yeah, sorry. I still have a little bit of a trouble in the tournament bracket. Some people still haven't started their matches, so... Oh, here we go. Anyways, here we go with the close up pressure. Kohide with the bait on the freaking 
Oh, uh, Yellow Roman canceled the mistake. And just like Disco, he is on match point right now. A nice close up pressure from Maron. Ah, uh, too far to get a juggle though in the corner. Should be able to get the wall break though this time around. Uses the wild assault to get the wall, uh, the, the heavy knockdown. Oh, gets a clean jump in right there. Not enough to kill though, but he could have killed if he did the uh, uh, Roman Cancel extension though. And the Ventania, Rob Ventania! Kohide! Here we go, the Stun Dipper. Kohide just, oh, content to just block, and rightfully so. Oh, the whip punish is real. And unfortunately for Kohide, Kohide gets scooped by the Stun Edge, Aerial Stun Edge. This is the last round of the last match. Who's gonna take it? We shall see. Kohide with the juggle. Marons has zero burst. He has to take this pressure. Oh! Almost got out of the guard. I guess it by the 2D counter hit. Straight into the Ventania. Not enough to kill. But Maron is in pretty dire straight. Not going to lie. We're going to jump in and get scooped by the 2D. And this should be it. Kohide takes it by the skin of his teeth. Roy versus Yagi. Soul versus Kai. A tale as old as time. Who is going to take it? We shall see. Roy, definitely one of the best soul players in Japan. How is Yagi going to pin up against him? We shall see. First match, here we go. Roy already going with the 2K 2D. Gets the knockdown in. The follow up grab. However, Yagi manages to uh, make Roy's grab attempt within the corner using the back dash. Has the corner carry currently, but Roy finding his way out gets hit by the DP in the process and is. Uh, and is consequently forced to pop the burst. That being said, Roy has the corner positioning this time around. Yes, the 4 HS counter hit. Waits, uses the Roman cancel, waits to see whether or not Yagi is going to burst and uh, carries on with this combo, seeing that Yagi was not going to burst and gets the kill. Here's where we go with Roy, second round. Wary of the DP this time around. And Yagi noticing it. Makes full use of it. Brings the offense to Roy, gets the wall splat and the wall break. Yagi okay, looking pretty good this time around. Very nice confirms right there from Yagi. Not enough uh, Roman cancel, not enough tension bar to get the Roman cancel extension for the necessary kill though. And Roy with the Roman cancel side switch, gonna get the wall break using the wild assault. Let's see how this spins out. Big DP right there from Yagi, not enough to kill. Oh lord. And here we go with the juggle! Yagi popping the burst! And gets the kill with the stun edge! Yagi not out of this yet, gets one round in! Very nicely done. Here we go with the 6P. Yagi punishing the forest attempt from Roy. Woo, nice with punish, doesn't get the follow up though. Gets it by the 2S counter hit though. Here we go with the safe jump. Here we go with the close S as well. Yagi with the... Oh, this is gonna freaking do a lot of damage. Well, it's not so much actually, but it's still fine. It does bring positive bonus for Roy, and Roy is about to get two bars of tension, which means more offense possibilities. Unfortunately, mistimes his, um, his uh, block pressure right there and gets scooped by Yagi. Yagi going with the safe jumps. Wants to keep Roy in the corner. Unfortunately, right now he's not in a good position. Gets the confirms! And I knew that El Roy was wake up with the DP right there. And gets in with the 4 HS counter. Hit. Drops his combo, but gets the closest counter hit too far. Oh, and freaking Yagi with the grab, noticing that the revolver that Roy wasn't going with the follow-up of the uh the bandit revolver and grabs him out, punishes him with the grab to get the kill and manages to get the first match and here we go on to the next battle Yagi with the lead currently popped the burst straight when Roy got the counter hit right there here we go the blocked bandit bringer Yagi definitely wary of uh, of the DPs of Roy big bandit bringer but man Yagi meeting Roy in the air right there Goes for the closest counter hit right after the Roman Kessel fan. And Roy with the raw, the raw Fafnir, man. That was, that was metal right there. And Yagi getting the hit with the tab dust straight into the Roman Kessel. For the kill. Name a safer wake up option. None. A Hiragi wake up, maybe. 
Chiragi with Roman Cancel, I guess. <laughs> but it's, it's basically the same thing, though. <laughs> Bro, they're out for blood. Yeah, man, you can sense some animosity in there. <laughs> well, it is Sol versus Kai, so I'm pretty sure there is some sort of um, unspoken rule between Sol and Kai players that they need to play as violently as possible when they are in this current in this matchup. I guess probably it's possible. That being said, here we go with Roy puts one round on the board. Yagi looking pretty good right now, though. Oh, Lord. Ah, Roy almost getting out of the corner. That was a scary bended bringer there. Big stud dipper from Yagi. Ah, it goes again for the sun dipper. It's DMC and rival just like Goku and Vegeta. Vegeta! Exactly. <laughs> That's basically, that sums it up. Man, and the back IEDs from Yagi has been freaking pristine, man. Ryu and Luke or Ken. Ken. Look, I don't like Luke. Only Ken is the real rival of, uh, of, uh, of Ryu, not freaking Luke. Anyways, here we go with the corner pressure, and Yagi going with the empty low, and manages to get the second, the first, uh, the second match, actually. Putting one on the board. One match apiece. Who's gonna take it? Those Kai buffs must have really worked. Ah, uh, man, Kai is actually good right now, I think. He was already good, I think, before the patch, but right now he's actually, he's actually pretty decent, in my opinion. Yagi on fire, man. It's crazy. Yagi the goat. <laughs> if you see what I did there, then you see what I did there. Yagi the goat would be basically say goat the goat because Yagi in Japanese means goat, actually. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with Yagi using the stun dipper into the Roman castle, catching Roar standing up a little bit too quick. We need to see more sins. Uh, don't worry, we will eventually. Once people realize how freaking good this character is, we will, we will. I think Sin is pretty viable right now. You also, you already see Chulala playing uh, Sin actually, and saying that he's very, very good and has some matchups that uh, that Kite actually does not cover. And here we go with the Volcanic Viper juggle into the 6HS, the 6S or the Kale. Okay, Roy takes the advantage right now. One round only though, but I will get big uh, gunflame. Damn, and Yagi with the freaking... Ah! Yagi with the... How do you call it? The tick. Roy going with... Oh! Getting again scooped by the backdash into the grab. That being said, Roy managed to get the confirm. Uses the Roman Castle to get the extension. And this is hard knockdown for Roy. Tries to beat the, the DP, definitely. Okay, Yagi managed to find the opening on the lows, goes for the extension, using Roman Cancel, ooh, big forest counter it. Yagi right at the end, man, ooh, oh, is that the comeback that we all want to see? Try to go for the, oh, oh, in line of the DP, oh, he's got the juggle, that was sick, that was so sick. Raw DP counter and into the juggle. No Roman cancel needed. That must have stinked for Roy, man. That must have stinked so much. I'm sure Roy is angry right now. Here we go with the 4 H, the 4 S, man. Yagi out for blood. Gets it by the 2D counter, though. Here we go, the grab. That combo, right? That's sick. I didn't even know that was a thing. That being said, yeah, things are looking pretty bleak for Yagi. Not gonna lie. Oh, Big Bandit Revolver! Roy trying to bait the burst. And instead baits the backdash into... Uh, confirms the backdash and punishes with the 2D. Good stuff from Roy. Up to the 1. Yagi is on uh, the receiving end currently. Again gets hit by the 2D counter hit. Big Forest. Here we go, Roy trying to push Yagi in the corner. Very nice run up grab right there from Yagi. Oh yeah, no, Sol is, like Japan is, uh, Japan is, oops, sorry. One second, ah, watch me, sorry guys. Japan is uh, convinced that Sol is top tier. Well, they've been convinced that Sol is top tier like for a long time actually, but. Man, the mind games are great between, yeah, it is, man, they, it is, it is. Again, here we go with the wall break for the kill. Roy on match point. Is he going to send Yagi in the loser's bracket? We shall see. Here we go to Sun Edge. Oh, Lord. 
Oh, yeah, Roy is pissed right now. You can say it, don't worry. Roy is completely angry right now. You can feel it. Like he's like the uh, the, the fury mode in in Monster Hunter. <laughs> like when you hit the uh, the monster too too much, he enters this this super angry mode, and this is what Roy is. Well, was right now. I think he's he's calmed down a bit because he's on match point. Anyways, here we go with the close-up pressure. Big forest counter hit, and this should do. Yeah, you can see it. Oh, no! The freaking... No, you hit this hit. And the freaking tap does for the kill. Good lord. And just like this, man. Just like this. Roy takes it. 3-2-2 two, two, and sent out. No! I'm a dumbass. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. My bad. Oh, that's 2-1. to It's 2-1. to one. My bad, my bad, my bad. It's 2-1, two 2-1, to 2-1. One, two to one, two to one. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I thought it was it was over. Okay, it's two to one actually. I thought it was two. Are you sure though? Maybe it's two to two right now. Anyways, that being said, we are back in. Yagi getting the wall break. Now Roy wants to make it four. Just to let him. Know. Oh yeah. Je crois que c'est deux deux, uh, exam. Je vais mettre deux deux. Si tu dis que c'est deux deux, à mon avis c'est que ça doit être le carré. J'ai dû me planter dans le, dans, le, dans le score. That being said, we go with the wild throw and the wake up freaking 2p for the kill. Yagi on match point then, if I'm correct. Hopefully it's the case. Big 6p counter hit. Roy goes straight into the wild assault for the conversion. Good lord. Elgin, here we go with the safe jump. T'inquiète, je pense que c'est ça doit être ça aussi. Hein. Je pense que ça doit être ça aussi. And here we go, the wake up 2k2 demon! Yagi not afraid! Oh lord! Yagi holding on to their dear burst, does not want to let it up just in case there is a third big ah, back ID. That back ID was sick from Roy, and we're going down to the last match of the last, the last round of the last match. What is it gonna happen? Big 4S counter hit! Oh, big 4S counter hit! Good lord! Ah oh, man, this is looking pretty bleak for Yagi. Oh, big six feet, not over till it's over. Here we go, close as and man, Roy with the 2k 2d. Get scooped by the freaking stun dipper. Not over till it's over. Okay, Roy did not want to give. Ooh, that would punish on the 2d using the standing 2k was sick. Oh, it's not over. What is it gonna? Oh no, he tried to go for it. Why did it not grab? Oh, you're in the mix in the wild throw, not enough to kill. Oh, the wake up DP! Here we go, stun the perk closest, and the freaking standing key for the kill! Roy win the freaking... This is the first semi-finals match, Mugi versus Kokide. Who's going to take it? These two knows each other so much. This is going to be a pretty interesting match, though. Okay, the loser's bracket is going pretty good. Everything's going fine, this is perfect. And first blood draw drawn by Mugi. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go get myself a glass of water. The previous match killed my throat. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and the forest counter hit for the kill on the punish with uh for the punish on the yellow room and cancel those six. And here we go with the grab from Kohide gets the bait on the yeah, the golden burst. Big 6p from Moogie, man. That was sick. Moogie, uh, resorting to just jumping out of the corner. Does definitely not want to be cornered by Kohide. And here we go with... Ah, uh, no, too far to get the command grab. Goes for the jump in. Kohide casually walking out of the corner. And making it so that Moogie corners himself. That was pretty nicely done from him, by him. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the close-up pressure, close S. Ah, Moogie with the blocks. <laughs> and Moogie getting hit by the far HS. And the close S for the kill. Okay, one round of peace. Who's gonna take it? We shall see. Very nice 2K2D. 
Here we go, says, Oh, Koine getting the freaking bait on the... Uh, it's not the Wild Reflect, but I'll call it Wild Reflect. Now okay, here we go, the Sepultura. The close-up pressure. Mugi does not want to let up. Gets hit by the aerial overdrive, though. Good lord. Koine. Oh, tried to get the TOD, but a wee bit too far. Koine finally forced to pop the burst. This could, yeah, Oh, this could go any place. That being said, blood is filling up for Mugi. He's running out of options. Goes by the freaking jump in and gets the juggle for the kill. First match goes to whip Mugi. Good stuff, good lord. Oh, that was crazy stuff, man. Nice comeback from Mugi, man. We're getting on to the next battle. We go to clone. Oh, nice Sabari from Kohide. Managed to punish the back Pukyo. Oh, that is the worst thing that could have happened. Is that death? That is actually death. Here we go. One touch kill. <laughs> well, it's only... Oh, no, not enough to kill. Actually, Damn, that did a shite ton of damage. Here we go to jump it. And Kohide. <laughs> Good lord, that was sick stuff. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Ooh, the big bag dash from Koide to prevent getting grabbed. That did a heck ton of damage, though. Okay, let's see how this pans out. On to the next... Oh, battle! Okay, Koide getting the first hit in. Goes for the extension using the wall assault to keep the pressure going. Mugi making it seem like he was going for the command grab, but instead goes for the 2P. This time around, Koide back dashing and successfully evading the command grab. Unfortunately for him... We are back in the neutral and things are looking pretty good for Mugi going for... Wow, a pretty nice corner carry combo. Not enough to kill though, man. Pixel life. Wow. And Mugi with the jump D for the kill. Out of every single other moves, it was jump D and that was... that It actually reached. Good stuff from Mugi. Very nice punish on the uh, Trovao right there. And here we go with ah, the Nasante, Puente, and Ventania for the finish. Good lord. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the close. <laughs> I'm sorry, the uh, save jump. Oh, going to bait in the burst. And this is going to be death. Straight into Ventania. Grrr, boom. Second match goes to Kohide. Very nicely done. Uh, Koide with the comebacks, man. Definitely, definitely. These, these guys know exactly the ins and outs of each other. They've been fighting each other for so long. Especially in the Brojo Cup. I've seen so many of their fights. Here we go to 6HS on the ground. Koide first put to pop the burst. Safe jump set up. And here we go with Koide pressing buttons right in the gaps of the offense of Mugi finds an opening. A sick freaking counter hit combo. That Kohide, I'm sure, did, re didn't really know what to do exactly how to finish it. <clears throat> oh, really, does it? Are you sure? I... I do have drop frames, actually. I do have some drop frames, yeah. Let me check real quick. That is not good. Is it still <clears throat> is it still uh, lagging while dropping frames? Yeah, no problem, uh, Hakuma. I hope it's not it's not lagging anymore. <clears throat> Anyways, here we go with Koide with the close-up pressure. Yes, the grab. <clears throat> And again with the Travao. Travao again, man. You're in limbo. <clears throat> Good stuff from Kohide. And Moogie getting the juggle. Gonna get the wall break. Big counter hit from Moogie. Gonna get the close-up pressure. Moogie with the command grab straight into the Roman cancel. Gets it with a perfect. This is another perfect. And this is match point for Kohide. Let's see how this spins out. Big 6P counter hit. Oh, Moogie with the wild assault. 
to be able to get the wall break and gets it. Oh, Lord, and Koi did with the aerial uh, the overdrive. Let's see how this spins out. Bah, that was an unfortunately time meaty from Koi to get scooped by the, uh, by the grab. <clears throat> Udiabara in the back, that's unfortunately for Kuhi, they get scooped by the sword of, you know, just to reassure me. I'm looking at the preview on my uh, streaming software and apparently it's looking pretty good. I'm not having drop frames, so hopefully it's not, well, it's not lagging anymore. I hope so. Anyways, we are going to the next battle. I mean, none other than Roy versus Usui Gold and Usui Gold actually popping. Uh, popping uh, none other than Elfelt, so maybe not Gold Lewis. We shall see. You still have lags? Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna check it out on my end. Okay, sorry guys, I'm just gonna monitor my stream real quick. Just to be sure that everything is playing well. Hopefully it's okay. Mm, I'm checking... I'm checking on my computer and I'm not having any lags for some reason. Yeah, I'm checking on my computer with the uh, with the actual stream, and I'm not getting lags. Hmm. Are, are you talking? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Okay. It's not, it's not lags with the, um, it's not, how do you say it, um, it's not sound lag, right? It's like actual, uh, video lag, right? Freezes, okay. Okay, okay. Well, at least it's not, it's not problem, it's not like, the, the, the problem is not ongoing anymore, so. Anyways, here we go with the corner pressure right there from Roy. With the wild assault. And Roy going with the safe jump. Ooh. Oh! Usi getting the... Uh, the... Oh, very nice. Yellow Roman cancel from Roy. Wants to get out of the... Out of the pressure. Ah, uh, this is gonna be... Not enough to kill. Ooh. Oh, and the freaking... Com oh, oh, big 6 feet. Big... Five there, not enough to kill. Oh, the 2k for the kill! Good stuff from Usui Gold. Gets the first match, actually. Good lord. Very nice stuff from Usui. So Usui is really going down the uh, the Elfil path. Now let's see how this pans out. Big gunflame right there. Roy draws first blood. But very nice decision from Usui to go for the grab. And the Schmix is in. Roy popping the DP right there, right in the middle of the block strings. Big double 2-6P, man. <laughs> that was sick. Oh, nice confirms from Usui. Uh, oh, the big 2-6S counter hit, man. And Roy finds the extension station using the Wild Assault. Goes for the grab. And should be able to get the kill. Oh, no! Mistimes is Fafnir. You hate to see it. Is that no? Not like this. Not enough to kill though. Die! <laughs> Good stuff from uh, Usi. And goes for the jumping S right after the grenade. Good stuff, man. Usi, man, playing out of his mind. Good lord. Are we gonna get a an Elfelt winner today? That would be sick. Big wake up DP from Roy. Ah, fails to. Uh, well, forces Usi to pop the burst. Here we go with the... Oh, Lord, the close-up pressure. And Roy with the Volcanic Viper. Should be able to get the wall break. Not enough to kill, though. This is going to be pretty hard for Usui to bring back. To come back from. 
See how this spins out. Ah, and Roy just going straight in. Wants to mix. Misses his timing. Gets hit by the freaking die. <laughs> you see, going with the... Ah, uh, the... Oh, goes for the cross him. Unfortunately, gets hit by the jump in by Roy. Here we go on to the next battle. If Usui takes this one, he's going to be up 2 to 0. And that will be a huge, a huge lead for them. Okay, nice grab for Moy. Goes for the forest. Big air to air counter hit from Usui. Ah, uh, Usui getting the schmixes in. Goes for the safe. Pressure not fast enough to punish the standing K. Uh, the standing K from Roy. Roy using the wild assault in order to get uh, to get the hard knockdown. Oh lord. Yeah, and this is mixed time. Ah man, yeah, Usui looking for the bended revolver and getting hit by the Roman cancel freezes. And just like this, Roy puts one on the board. Good. Oh, okay, this time around, Usui is popping Johnny. Here's Johnny. Oh, Usui, Johnny, unfortunately, lands right on top of the <coughs> the um, um, gun flame. See how this spins out. Very nice grab from Usui. This time around, it's his time to apply the pressure. Goes for the grab again. And the Miss Finer. Just to keep the pressure going, the safe pressure going. Ah, man. The 2D low profiling, the standing HS of Usui Gold. You hate to see it. Being said, here we go. Very brave 2K 2D from Usui Gold. Not afraid of the DPF. Roy goes for the instant overhead using the Misfiner. And here we go, the Schmix, and this is dead. Good stuff from Roy. Takes the first, uh, actually the, uh, yeah, the first round of this third match. And big Miss Finder goes straight through the Gunflame. Part of the reason probably that Lucy Gold wanted to give uh, Johnny a go against, uh, against uh, Roy. Probably. And here we go with the juggle. Oh, man. You can see it, Lucy. Oh, Lucy Johnny getting hit right there by the close S. Think it was gonna be a, uh, uh, a grab. Wow, that is one combo I've never seen before. And look at the damage too. That was sick. We're going to jump in, and the schmix is in. Let's see, getting opened up. Hit to see it. Here we go to Miss Finer. Very nice grab from Musui. Not over. Here we go to Miss Finer. Oh, you can see it. Uh, Roy try going straight after Usi Johnny. Try to get the grab, and this should be the kill. Oh no, drops it, but gets the tap dust right at the landing. Roy taking the. Uh, uh, uh. And on to the next battle. Hopefully, the sweet booty is going to be able to bring it back. But Roy definitely has his eye on the prize, does not want to. Does not want to accommodate any chances of him going to the loser's bracket and here we go with the wall break already for Roy getting a pretty nice getting a pretty nice pretty nice life lead gets the bandit bringer in goes for the Fafnir and it's mix time Roy with the corner pressure gonna get the wall break Okay, so I uh, tried to get the grab. Unfortunately for him, too quick on his attempt and gets hit by the empty low. Mix up from the Bennett Revolver, Roman Cancel, Schmix. And we're on match point. The one who wins this one will make his way to the winner's final. We see Buddy with uh, the conversion station. Gets D2 HS, should be able to get the wall break. Let's see how this pans out. Ooh. Roy with the gun flame. Hitting the normals of Usui Gold. Big 2S counter hit. Should get the conversion. And does. Yo yo time. Not enough to kill, though. This super does painfully no damage. And 
Let's see, buddy, with the command grab for the kill. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, do you is out? Oh, and you're with the ah uh, the pressure. Okay, we'll see. Oh, she's it. Okay, and we're back to the neutral. Usui Booty with the slight live advantage. Hasro in the corner gets the 2 inches counter hit. Should be able to get the wall break. Straight into the overdrive. Okay, what is going to be the follow up? And this time around, Usui Booty going for the empty, what, for the fake low. Good lord, good stuff from Usui. Gold puts one on the board. Man, we have had every single match of today going down to the wire it is crazy this is bound to be a very long tournament <laughs> i'm not gonna go to sleep anytime soon which is perfectly fine anyways here we go with the juggle from roy should be able to get the wall break roy drawing first blood getting the hard knockdown goes for the safe jump somebody getting hit by the grab and Roy going for the extension station using the wild assault for the guaranteed hard knockdown. Ah uh, no, miss time is bandit, but it is well his uh, wild assault. This is a uh, wild throw, but it doesn't matter. Still has the kill. Yeah, let's see how this spins out. Usui gold. Yeah, struggling to keep Roy out. To, uh, Roy out, to be honest. And here we go to two S counter hit. Usui booty with the. The juggles. <coughs> okay, let's see how this spins out. Oh, okay, again with the schmix. Rory getting the wall break. Oh, big, big, big for Subuti. Ah, oh, no, drop the combo. Oh, big 2S counter hit. Goes straight into the overhead. The overdrive. Not enough to kill, though. Who almost got hit by the by the vortex right there. That was really, really, really tight. And we're going down to the last round of the last match. Of course. Big DP block from Roy. He's going to do a lot of damage. Look, half of the life already gone. We're preventing Usui Booty from getting out of the corner. Gets the side switch, though. Okay, very nice. Sniping from Usui Gold. Gets the overdrive. This is going to be a safe jump. Oh no! Big 2HS! No, so oh, Lord! Wait, wait! No, he drops it! Oh man, this could go either way. This could go either way. Uh, oh, shite! Let's see, but he should be able to get it if he doesn't drop the combo, and he doesn't! Perfect! Good stuff! His name is a little bit out of... Uh, out of... Here we go, that's better. <clears throat> Okie dokie, so Amato versus one more. Let's see how this spins out. Big start of the round right there from one more. Here's the 2D counter hit. Ah, uh, try to go for the overhead. Ah, nice burst bait from Amato. Should be able to get the wall corner carry. The the corner carry. Okay. Nice close S trade in favor of Amato. Gonna get the overdrive. I think I've never seen Milia's uh, crazy face right there. <laughs> okay, I wasn't quite. I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't get to see it very often. So, anyways, here we go. And the forest for the kill. Good stuff. Rum Amato takes the first round. Let's see if one round can adapt. We shall see. And on to the second round. Wow, Amato with the standing K anti-air. Feels to get the wall break the, the wall bounce though. For the extended combo pressure. Again. Ah, Amato getting hit by the uh the capel. <clears throat> so one second. Mm. 
Okay, we get two. <clears throat> and just like this, Amato takes the first match rather um, comfortably, if I might say. But it's definitely not over till it's over. One more is no slouch. Hopefully for him, he will find some way to reverse the tide of war. Eventually make... Oh, that big counter hit jump in. So let's, let's see how this spins out. Oh! One more with the Capel conversion. Very nice patience from Amato. Finds the opening, gets the command grab. Uh, one more finding the, uh, the opportune time to press some buttons, but unfortunately gets hit by uh, the explosion of the wig. Again, Amato with the command grab. Uh, getting the jump in. One more having to... Yeah, very nice timing from Amato. Where is he? What is going on? Good lord. Good stuff from Amato. Okay, let's see how this pans out. <clears throat> and here we go with the trade. One more getting the knockdown with the tandem top. Goes for the fake... Uh, for the ambiguous double overhead, double jump in. Here we go with the throw loop from one more. Uh, should you be able to get the wall break? And we definitely will this time around. Amato is not going to burst on this one, and rightfully so. Okay, one more. Finally putting one on the board. One more. Put 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 one more on the board, please. So you get one match. That would be awesome. Big 6P counter hit, though, from Amato. Gets the cross up using the mix, mix, mix. Hmm. And here we go with the empty uh, command grab, empty jump command grab into the wall break using the wild assault. Things are looking pretty bleak for one more getting hit by the tab dust into the Roman cancel for the kill. One more match for Amato and he should be able to move on to the next battle. One more needs to win three more. It's hard to say. It's hard to talk about, like, match counts with the name one more in it. Anyways, yeah, one more will re will need to win three matches in a row if he wants to make his way uh, further into the tournament. If not, he will unfortunately be uh, eliminated from the tournament. But he did make it to top eight, which is pretty good. Oh, here we go with one more and the 2 k 2 d Gonna get the... Uh, the... Wall break and the kill, actually. Amato holding on to his burst, and rightfully so. <clears throat> Let's see how this pans out. Ooh, Lord. Nice delay right there for the Capel. Forcing Amato to pop the burst. And again with the Capel conversion. Big 2S counter hit. Too far to get the wall. Uh, the, how do you call it? The wall. Wall juggle. Okay, one more again, man, with... Oh, good lord, the pressure is real. Nice jump out from one more. Ah, oh, too far to get anything. Oh, substantial, but does get the conversion straight into the 2K2D overdrive for the kill. One more puts one on the board. Let's see how this pans out. Finally! Good stuff from one more. Let's see if Amato... Can adapt to the sudden change of pace of one more. <clears throat> oh, this is gonna be a punish. Good stuff from one more. Gets the trade and the capel in. Here we go with the grab. Who gets the bait on the burst? This is gonna be a hard knockdown. Oh, big jump in. No, and doesn't confirm. You need to see it. Okay, Amato didn't get the. Hard knockdown. Oh! Ooh, blocked just in time. One more manages to get one more round in. <laughs> Big forest counter hit from uh, Amato. Doesn't get any entire right there. Then again, it's really hard to entire. Oh, Bailey had that freaking... That that freeze of both players. Am Amato thinking that one more was going to go for a grab. Grabbing the air and getting hit count counter hit it actually in the process. Big bad moon. Will Amato pop the burst? He will. And one more. Just going from one side of the corner to the other just to grab Amato and get the kill. It's going down to the wire yet again. 
So one thing I'm really glad is that my seating is pristine because we've only had uh, matches that went down down to the wire ever since the, the beginning of today's tournament. Every single match went down to the wire. Anyways, here we go. Here we go with the jump in. Amato making good use of the cavalry in order to keep the pressure on going on one more. Oh lord, nice 6p from Amato. Ooh, tried to get the jump in. Ah! Unfortunately for him, Amato had the cavalry in his favor. Oh, this time around. One more is the one to get the cavalry. Ooh, nice! One more with the conversion station should be able to get the wall break. And wall break he does have. Not a hard knockdown. Oh, gets hit by the overhead spear though. The overhead scalpel. Is Amato gonna pop the burst? Oh, he is! He, he is not, I'm sorry. And just like this, one more is on match point on the brink of sending Amato out of the tournament. Here we go with the empty low. Big forest counter hit. Our, the, the bomb is here. We almost got the juggle with the bomb, by the way. Ah, oh, here we go, the jump in. Too far to get anything, but big 6 speed from one more. Goes for the low. Goes for the empty low. That it fails to get the juggle. Please finish your combos one more. You're gonna give me a heart attack. And it's enough to get the kill and one more eliminates Amato out of the turn. On to the next battle, Hagiara versus Yagi. Jacko versus Kai. Both players extremely strong with their own respective character. Who is going to come out on top? We shall see. And here we go, start of the match. Yagi already having the corner positioning, dispatching all sorts of minions. Ah, disposing, not dispatching, by the way. Very nice grab from Yagi. Keeps the pressure in the corner. Wow, what the hell was that? The back dash to get rid of the stun edge and punish accordingly. It was actually pretty sick. And here we go with the Illusion Driver. Not enough to kill, by, not by any means. But it will offer Hagera. Ooh, some leeway, some uh, wake up options, but man. Yeah, you with the wake up DP, not afraid. Here we go with the grab again. Goes for the Roman extension. Roman cancel extension and gets the kill with the DP. Wall splat. And here we go with Yagi up one round. Let's see what Hagera can do. Ooh, Lord. Go to. Ah. Okie dokie. Hagera with the Roman cancel. Not the Roman Castle, the, uh, the Wildest Sound, I'm sorry. Big air-to-air -air trade in favor of Hagara, who keeps the per, uh, who keeps the pressure ongoing. Uh, and Yagi getting hit by the 2D counter hit, you need to see it. Yeah, Yagi is definitely going to hold on to his burst. No point in, in bursting right here. Oh, wow. Oh, and Hagara not enough to get the kill. Baits the burst and punishes accordingly. Okay. One round apiece. See how this spins out? I get a harassing with the 2k. <laughs> okay, finally force pop the burst. Ah, again, man. Yagi with the wake up DP. Hagiara sniffing it out and punishing with a pretty nice combo straight into the Elysian driver. Ah, uh, yeah, you can see Hagiara trying to sniff out that DP. Ooh, and the punish on the Fudra Dark. Hagiara using the 2k to low profile this Fudra Dark and punish accordingly. Good stuff from Hagiara. Takes the first ma the first match. Is Yagi gonna be able to bring it back? We shall see. Big counter hit from Yagi, forcing Hagiara to pop the burst. Yagi trying to get rid of the minion as they come, but man, are they annoying to get rid of. <laughs> okay, and here we go with the neutral. Yagi with the close-up S. Chipping away the tension bar and a bit of the health bar of Hagiara. Trying to pin him down, but man, Hagiara trying to get as much distance as possible. In order to get the leeway to put minions on the floor and harass Yagi with it. And it's block time. 
Good lord. And here we go to grab. And Hagera takes the first round of this second match. Yeah, he's definitely looking a little bit lost. Get nice blocks from Yagi yeah, gets open though by the standing S counter hit. And I get with the juggle. Not able to get the wall break though. Yagi really trying to fight for his life to get out of the corner. Manages to do so with a pretty cool combo. Not going to lie. Here we go to grab. Man, with the back dash from Hagiara, man. Good stuff. Hagiara going straight for the forever Elysian. Driver! Not enough to kill. Hagiara probably gonna try to bait the DP. Yeah, that's what I thought. And we go with the burst baited as well. I got up 2 to 0. Yagi looking pretty lost right now, not going to lie. What is gonna happen? We shall see. And on to the next battle. Big jump in from Hagara. Gets the pressure initiated. Puts one. Oh lord, the tap does combo, man. Straight into the wall break. Here we go with the jump in. Yeah, you're trying to backdash in order to not get hit by the, the jump in though. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go with the wall break for the kill. Hagara on match point on the verge of eliminating Yagi out of the tournament. Yagi with a close S. Ah, gets hit by Hagara with a close S counter hit. Ah, tries to go air to air to hit Hagara out of it, but yeah, a little bit too far for it. Big 2k right there from Hagara. Gets the jump in the side switch as well. He's working pretty bleak. Ah, nice bar from Yagi trying his best to get out of the corner. Definitely no easy feat, not going to lie. And how yeah, getting grabbed after his grab attempt. Blocks the tab dust. Yagi not capitalizing off of it. Ah, tries to get rid of the, the minion there, but yeah. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, and here we go, the armor. Big jump in from Yagi. Try to bait the grab. The take attempt. Nice grab from Yagi. Try to go for another grab. And the grab for the kill to prevent Hagara from the, having the opportunity to, to pop the burst. Good stuff. And nice decision making from Yagi as well. Okay, and on still. On to the match point. Yagi waking up a bit. Is he gonna bring it back? That would be sick. Big combo right there from Yagi. Should be able to get the wall break. Decides to keep his tension bar. Perhaps to have more... Um, more pressure opportunities. Okay, let's see how this spins out. And the secret edge to get rid of all of the minions as well at, at, at once. Ah... Uh, Ah oh, man, yeah, you trying to use the stun edge as a follow up after hitting the dominion. Ah oh, man, one more hit is all that is required. Ah, this is death. Good stuff from Hagala baiting the burst, taking it a clean. Ça va très bien, Roy. Encore mieux depuis que tu es là, Dion. And here we go, Roy versus one more. Who's gonna take it? We shall see. Roy definitely angry of having been sent. To the loser's bracket by Usui, so probably gonna want to get his revenge. We'll see how this pans out. Uh, it can go either ways, but I have a tendency of thinking that the matchup will probably go is probably in favor of Soul in general, but man, anything can happen. And here we go with the, ooh, the jump in and the air to air in favor of one more, getting a pretty nice amount of damage. Here we go with the close up pressure. One more using the sledge, trying to find its way. Oh lord, big 6p counter hit. Oh lord, and this is uh, not dead enough. Not enough to get the kill. Big bound, uh, bended revolver, the uh, bended bringer. Yeah, Roy trying to get the, the air to air in. Big counter hit though. Roy forced to pop the burst. Oh, Lord, and one more getting the kill with the tandem top. 
with the sledge, actually. Good stuff from one more. Let's see if you can keep it up. Big 4S right there from Roy. Wanting to keep the pressure in. And good luck. Big opening from Roy. Should be able to get a ton of diamond, but freaking drops it again. Why? Okay, here we go. The close pressure. Big jump encounter hit. Gonna get a pretty nice juggle combo out of it. No wall break. Gets hit by the wake up volcanic viper though. Oh, big air to air gets the juggle using the remaining of the ten tendon top. That was pretty sick. Good stuff from one more. Oof, almost got hit there. Ah, in the conversion station. Is that going to be enough to kill? Not enough to kill. Yes, enough to kill. One more takes the first match, man. Good stuff. Good lord. Let's see how this spins out. And on to the next battle. Big gun flame, but one more with the counter hit. Again with the closest counter hit. Forcing Roy to pop the burst. Ten in top. What is going to happen? Okay, here we go with the close-up pressure from one more. Man, using ten in top to pin Roy on the ground. And Roy saying, I've had it. Just resorting to... Oh, to DP, man. And one more should be able to get the wall break. And the... Lucky, lucky, present cookie. Here we go, the tandem top, pushing Roy ever so slightly in the corner. And, man, one more on fire now, what the hell? Good lord. Let's see how this spins out. <clears throat> okay, this is a big, uh, this is a pretty big bandit bringer. Roy on the onslaught, should be able to get, yeah, the Tyrant Raid. Raid! Not enough to kill, thankfully. And here we go with the jump in and the tap does for the kill. Roy with the perfect. We are still one round apiece. One match in favor of one more though. A little close up pressure. Roy extending set pressure using the uh the wild assault. Man, Roy not afraid to jump to to uh run up straight to the opening right after a minus. A minus on block hit. Okay, uh, Roy should be able to get the side switch, should be able to get the kill as well. Okay, Roy puts one on the board. One to one, we have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Is one more gonna be able to tough it out and reverse the momentum? Things are looking pretty one sided, not gonna lie. Okay, that being said, ah, uh, Roy. Couldn't quite confirm there. And here we go with uh, the wall. Freaking damage, man. Look at the damage. Four million. Okay. One more with the Schmixes gets a uh, freaking three layered overhead. <laughs> if you manage to block this, you're a god. Oh, again, big Volcanic Viper for the kill. Roy takes the lead. One match and. One round for the lead. That being said, one more does not want to hand it over for free. Big gun flame. That being said, one more. Not out of this yet. Oh, Lord Dove. Ah, finally. One more getting the punish on the wake up DP from Roy. This time around. Roy almost got punished right there for his gun flame. Wow, big 6P. Where did this 6P come out? Oh, Lord. And the overdrive for the kill. Okay, one more. Also, putting one round on the board. Who's going to take this one? Big DP from Roy. Ah, uh, no, too far to get the punish on the Bandit Bringer. And this is going to be huge. This is going to be death, actually. Good lord. And Roy takes the second match as well. Things are looking pretty bleak for Thanks. little Milia. Let's see if one more can bring it back. 
Okie dokie, Breads and Cookie. Wow, and Roy blocking that bad moon, man. Nothing pointed towards the fact that one more wanted to use the bad moon at that particular moment. Big close encounter here, though. Could not get the follow up. You hate to see it. He said one more. Pinning Roy down. Roy going with the freaking cross cut DP, man. Good stuff. And the pressure is real. And this should be it. Good stuff from Roy. Gets the kill. And we are on a match point, ladies and gentlemen. Who is going to take it? We shall see. One more not wanting to get anti air right there. Here we go with the jump in. Big DP from Roy yet again. And Roy with the 6p counter hit, yo. And this is going to do a heck ton of damage. Not enough to kill by any means, but... Ah, I think Roy wanted to wake up with DP again. Okay, here we go with the schmixes. Wow, how do you block this? And... One more with the extension station combo. Wanting to double jump, not in order not to get hit by the DP, but man, it went so high. Big bad moon. And here we go with the kill. Here, one more not out of this yet. Let's see how this spins out. Big counter hit for one more. And very nice stuff. Ah, uh, but that being said, one more is in the corner. Ah, Lord, yeah. One more fighting for his life gets the jump in. Too far to get anything substantial though. Gets hit by the DP again and the two as this time around. Ah, this is not dead, but it is pretty close. Let's see how this spins out. Big jump in air to air for a more. Getting the kill and getting and winning this map every single time. Like, at least I can remember that during uh, the past two tournaments. They both played against each other. They did. So yeah, this is the third time in a row. Let's see who takes it. So last time, twice, uh, both times before, I get a took it. So hopefully for Kohide, he's gonna be able to take it this time. So sorry guys, I need I need water. I'll be right back. Okie dokie, Brids and Cookie, let's see how this spawns out. And uh, so, for now, Koite does have the advantage given that he won the first round, but as you can see, Hagiara is answering in. Uh, is answering in due fashion. Currently with the Life League. That being said, Koite trying successfully, well, so so successfully to get out of the corner. Pops the Ventani, unfortunately for him. I get I had it blocked and answers with a Elysian driver for the kill. Yo, Zoom, how you doing, bro? Welcome, yo. We have so many good uh, good matches today. It's crazy. Okay, anyways, here we go with... Oh, wow, the 2D went so freaking far. That was crazy. Good stuff from Kohita taking the lead. Tried to go for an air to air or an air grab, probably. That being said, he is in the corner right now. What is he going to do? Here we go with... I get it with the grab, again with the grab. And Hagiara with the Illusion Driver for extreme damage. Not enough to kill though. And here. Oh, Lord! Kohide with the grab. Ah, a little bit too far to get anything substantial. And the 2D for the kill. Hagiala getting the kill, baiting Kohide into popping the burst. Takes the league 1 to 0. And let's see how this pans out. Is Kohide gonna be able to bring it back? We shall see. Big closest counter, the uh, big closest though. Forcing Hagiala to pop the burst. And Hagiala. 
with gaps in his pressure, encourages Kohita to use the gold burst. Nice ticket attempt from Hagela. Getting hit with the RC optimization station combo into the Ventania. Good. Brrr. Big damage. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, oh, too few. Ooh, I hope you blocked. Ah, you did it. Unfortunate. Let's see how this spins out. Well, he did worry that Hagela was probably trying to uh, bait his Roman cancel. His yellow Roman cancel, that is. Let's see how this spins out. Kikuri did draws first blood. <clears> that <throat> being said, Hagela does have the corner positioning. And soon to be life lead. Here we go with the life lead. And here we go with the illusion driver. Not enough to kill though. Ah, but Hagera is gonna. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for the uh, the Roman cancel extension to get even more damage, <clears throat> but he didn't. That being said, Hagera takes the second round of this second match. Good pressure from Hagera, man. Forcing Koi to pop the burst, and it's throw time in the corner by Koi. Good lord, the pressure is real. And here we go, the juggle. I get a getting the kill and taking the lead. A pretty significant one, two to zero. Let's see how this spins out. And potential last set of this fight, we shall see. Oh, big 6p counter, uh, the, the entire from Koide. Gets the grab. Going for the safe jumps. Here we go with the close-up pressure. Ah, Koide with the close S. That would have been huge. Wow, here we go with the playoff kicks. Good lord, straight into the Elysian Driver. Big damage, all things considered. What is gonna happen? We did force pop the burst. <laughs> Both going for the 2D. For the respective 2D, that is. Koide finding the opening. Ah, uh, not enough to get the kill. Goes for the Travao for the kill, though. Okay, Koide. With one round on the board. Ah, Lord. Here we go, the juggle. Should be able to get the wall break. And does. Okay, back to the neutral. Ah, Koide having to face against the minions. Okay. Oh, I get it with the grab. Wow. Okay, and here we go with ah oh, the bait, the burst on the burst has been baited. Very nicely done. <clears throat> Good lord. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, okay. One second, guys. <clears throat> Good lord. Oh, big 6p counter, and yo, that did so much damage. Okay, so, here we go. So, Hiranari san. Hi, VIP, I get mas. Hi, Tashika, me take a side. VIP, I get mas tambe. I gave you VIP, Hiranari. So you should be able to have it now. And big kill right there from Kohide puts one on the board. <clears throat> Finally, down two to one though. Still needs a couple more in order to have a tie. And back to the scramble. 
Here we go, Koide waking up with the golden burst. Gets the grab. Goes for the Trovao and gets a big counter hit on the standing HS. Should be able to get the Vatania. Is that going to be enough to kill? It's definitely going to do a heck ton of damage. What's going to be the follow-up? Go straight for the tab dust for the kill. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. Uh, pans out. Koide wins this one. He'll have a tie. He'll be tied with Hagala. This is something that Hagala definitely does not want. <clears throat> there we go, the juggles. Wow, man, the wall of minions. Nice air grab from, from uh, Hagala. Hagala definitely going the next level, not wanting uh, Kohide to uh, make things, to equal things up. To tie things up, to equal things up. <laughs> My French came out right there. Anyways, here we go with the Kohide pressure, trying to get the grab. Good conversion station from Kohide. This is gonna do a hex ton of damage. Look at the damage. Good lord. Ah, guilty gear. Yeah. Ah, guilty gear. Yeah. We're good to jump in. Good lord. Ah, Skull got scooped by the 2D though. Here we go with ah, the aerial over drive. Koide tried to go for a 6P, but a little bit too late on it gets caught by the jumping HS of Hagara. And now Koide force pop the burst. He needs to make something happen right now. If Hagara takes, yeah, takes some space and puts the... Ah, oh, lucky Koide. Yeah, that would have been very bad for Koide if Hagara had the real estate space in order to put their minions on stage and harass Koide from, uh, from far away. Okay, and on to the final... Match, it is probably gonna go down to the final round as well. Wouldn't surprise me. Here we go with the grab. Koide with the close up pressure. Gets the grab. We go the close up as well. Goes for the Nasante. Man, the freaking guard of Hagara have been pristine. I'm gonna lie. We go to grab again from Hagara. Again, another grab. We go with the lows. And. And Kagala. Ah, not enough to kill though. It could still go either way. Provided the yeah, but no. Nice whiff punish from Hagara. We are going to set point. Is Koide gonna be able to bring it back? Gets the counter hit. Hardest part. Ah. That being said, look at the pressure. And the juggle with the minion. Hagala on point, baiting the burst as well, straight into the Elysian Driver. Good lord, and again, Hagala taking it over Kohide once more. Anyways, here we go with Mugi versus Gold. Actually, Usui Gold. So let's see how this turns out. So Usui resorting to using none other than Elfelt. So let's see if uh, he's going to keep Elfelt until the end of the tournament, or if he's uh, going to swap again. Probably he's gonna swap eventually, but if he doesn't, it's still fine. I love Elfel, she's freaking fun. And here we go with a very, very explosive start of the match by Mugi. I uh, tried to get the 2 HS a little bit too far to get it to connect though. Yes, yeah, the forest counter hit. And here we go with the wall break. Mugi with the whiff punish out of the butt. Out of the butt. Out of the, the butt assault from Elfo. The butt rush, if I might say. Oh, big, big, big Beyblade counter hit. Mugi trying to go for the uh, command grab, but Lucy getting out of it thanks to the fuzzy jump. Here we go with the command grab. Lucy waking up with the gold burst. And it's pressure time. That being said, ah. Is Mugi gonna pop? No, he's not. Thankfully. Ah, uh, man. Ooh, here we go with the side switch. I don't know if it was intended. Probably not. Nice bag that from Musi. Getting hit by the white Roman uh, assault. Oh. And Usui getting the well, the the jump in. Should be able to go the wall break. And does. Let's see how this spins out. 
Ah, Moogie getting opened up. You hate to see it. Good stuff from Usui. Putting one round on the board. She was on the verge of uh, of losing this one, though. Let's see how this spins out. Nice forest counter hit. And here we go with the corner pressure. Moogie! Oh, Burst got baited! And Usui. Breaking the wall. Oof. Okay. Moogie has the corner positioning. Trying to get a, a reaction from Usui. However it may be. Good stuff from Usui. Manages to get the first match, man. Usui definitely looking good during this tournament. And on to the next battle. Moogie tried to close the gap. First pop the burst, though. Right after that first interaction against Usui. Nice air to air from Moogie. Ah. Calling the, uh, the butt rush out right there. And getting the 6 HS as a follow up. Manages to seal the deal with the 4 HS. Big 6P round starter. And look already. Already, man. No more life. Look at this. It went so quick. Big 2 HS. Is this the kill? That was one hell of a freaking quick match right there. Big comeback from Moogie, man. Okie dokie, let's go! Subudi so changing uh, things up. Resorting to using another character. Oh lord! Big gear to wear from Mugi. Keeping the skies clear. That being said, Mugi making good use of the wild Roman, uh, the, wa uh, the white wild assault in order to pressure his opponent. That being said, Usui uh, trying to get out of the corner using the hop of Johnny. However, man, Mugi resorting to use. The yellow Roman cancel takes back the momentum, gets the opening, and the oh yeah, and the six HS on the ground for the kill. And on to the next battle. Wow, Lucy will be trying to find the opening right there. Gets the opening with the misfinder thanks to the buff of the card. Goes for the grab. And it's pressure time. Boom! Here we go with this sweet. Getting the wall break. Gonna get that sweet, sweet positive bonus. And here we go with the two HS for the kill. Okay, let's see Johnny putting one on the board. Trying to go for the grab, but nice tech for Moogie though. And here we go, the wall break. Moogie going straight for the Wasude Yuki to get guaranteed hard knockdown. Kaboom! Ah man, Usu buddy being a little bit hasty. Uh, big 2 HS, but unfortunately a little bit mistimed by Mugi. This might hit, actually. Yeah, it does. Good stuff. Good decision making from Mugi. Waking up with, with Wasude Yuki. Straight up taking the second match as well. Single uh, yeah. match, a single set. Morty will be sent out of the, court, the tournament. And here we go with Moogie finding the opening. Has the corner pressure. Was for the 6P, wow. And manages to get the wall break. Look at the damage. Good lord. Wow. Big counter hit in favor of Usui Buri. Uh, drop the combo though. And here we go back to the neutral again. Wow, Usui Buri getting hit by the 6P. And Moogie wrapping things up with the 6 HS for the kill. Yeah, Moogie starting strong with the white Wild Roman Assault in order to 
keep the pressure on going. Man, Mugi being very, very, very violent, if I might say. Ah, this is definitely going to work in favor of Lucy. Not enough to kill, though. Oh, enough to kill, actually. Good lord! That was sick! Good stuff. This is going in the replay. Good stuff from Lucy, Woody. Oh! We're going to close up pressure. Ah, somebody blocking the entire attempt. Ooh, that was a pretty unfortunate burst. And again with the command grab for the kill. Moogie eliminates Usui with we'll see. Anyways, on to the next battle, Roy versus Hagiara. Let's see how this pans out. It's starting to get pretty hot in here. Okay, I'm gonna get, grab a glass of water. I'll be right back. Thank you very much, Mick Mick. I actually wasn't aware of the uh, the viewers were the one who told me that today was my was my happy affiliate was my affiliate anniversary. I wasn't even aware. So it's actually a very uh, a very welcome surprise. But thank you very much, yeah, Mick Mick. Much appreciated. Anyways, here we go with uh, the uh, this is the loser semifinal actually, and Roy already taking the first round. I didn't even get to see it. Anyways, uh, Roy with the corner pressure wanted to go for the grab, but Hagiara with the correct uh, tech timing. Ooh, getting opened up there. Forced to pop the burst. You can see Roy not wanting to get pinned down by the uh, by the pesky uh, the pesky minions. Good luck, you're going to jump in. And Hagiara blocking correctly, getting opened up by the grab. Oh, is this gonna hit? It is! Damn! This move is pretty high, not gonna lie. And it's gonna be chip time. Ooh! Good stuff from Hagara getting the kill with the OTG. See how this spins out. Oh, here we go, the gunflame. Oh, good lord. Okay, finally, Roy getting in past all of these pesky, <laughs> these pesky minions. And look at the damage. Look at the damage, good lord. Imagine if you had the wall break, the wall splat. He probably would have one shot. Good lord. And Roy taking the first match pretty convincingly, not gonna lie. Very nicely done. What is Hagiara going to do? We shall see. Okay, on to the next battle. Big start of the round right there for Roy, not going to lie. With the gun flame. Ooh, Roy trying to go for the Fafnir. Ooh, no. Air to air in favor of Hagiara. Getting the counter hit. Getting the juggle. Getting the corner positioning. Getting the wall break and the positive bonus. Ooh, that was an unfortunately timed Roman cancel, unfortunately. So let's see how this spins out. And Roy with the wall break. Going for the jump in, the safe one, that is. Big grab from Roy, not enough to kill, though. Ah, uh, Roy again trying to go for the grab. And goes for the wild throw for the kill. Very nicely done. And on to the next battle. Roy with oh, the conversion station, but getting hit by the fully charged dust. Are you serious? No, and I'm dropping it. No, you don't want to drop them. 
You would have gotten the positive bonus too. What the hell? What's going on? What the hell is going on? <laughs> so many strange thing occurred right now. Here we go with the 2K2D. I got going for the fake cross up and getting the side switch in. <gasps> Again, going with the freaking fully charged dust. Good lord. And wait, and actually managing. Ooh, Roy is bound to be angry right now. I can tell you, Roy is definitely angry there. I can 100 guarantee you. Okay, the fury has been unleashed. Roy is gonna be hit. He's gonna be angry, I can tell you. It can go either way. It can be very good for him or very bad. So, let's see. His anger does make him pretty unpredictable, but... Makes him uh, act pretty rash as well, so... Anyways, here we go. See how this pans out. Okay, for now he seems pretty collected, actually. Big counter hit though. I tried to bait the. I'm sure he was trying to bait the um the the overdrive. And that being said, I get a taking, uh, putting one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. One match apiece. Who's gonna take it? We shall see. Hmm. And here we go on to the third match. <laughs> nice six spirit there from Hagara. Expecting Roy to jump. To get away from these pesky mi minions. And Hagara just moving forward and 6 p.m. him out of the air. Hagara trying to establish his minion game. To limit Roy's mobility and potential to just start going ham on him. Which they didn't really work out in the end. I was gonna say this is gonna kill, but nah. Yeah, here we go with the empty low. Not enough to kill by any means. Oh, but unfortunately for Roy, the tension bar came right at right at the end. It was so unfortunate for him. That being said, here we go with the grab. Roy, not out of this yet. Big DP right there from Roy. Oh, baiting the golden Roman burst. The Ro Roman. Uh, <laughs> Roman burst. The golden burst. What am I talking about? Here we go. Big damage incoming. Ah, drops the combo again. What the hell? This is incorrect and characteristic of both. And the Volcanic Viper for the kill. Okay, Roy takes the lead. 2-1. to one. Let's see if he can keep it up. And on to the next battle. If Roy wins this one, by the way, he will have his run back against... The person who sent him in the losers, who is none other than Usui Gold. Okay, here we go with the yellow Roman cancel. Big forest though. Oh, and Roy with the volcanic viper. The, the, what am I talking? The vortex. To go under, uh, to go under dominions and straight towards Jackal. Manages to get a pretty nice combo. Goes for the closest and gets the kill. Good stuff from Roy. We are actually on match point. If Roy wins this one, he'll face off against none other than Usuiburi in order to potentially have his revenge. We shall see how this pans out. That being said, look at this. The pressure is real. I gotta try to go for fully charged dust, man. Try to anger Roy. You can, you can feel it. I can definitely feel it. And here we go with Roy. Getting scooped by the grab though. You hate to see it. Okay, Hagera still down one round, one match. If he loses this round as well, it'll be over for him. Nice. Punish right there, 2k, 2d. Then we are back in the neutral. No 6p. A little bit too late to have the 6p on this. We go with the close-up pressure. Roy trying to find an opening and managing to do so pretty good. Hagara's defense was crazy though. Let's see how this pans out. Yeah, Roy trying to dispatch to uh, dispose of all of these pesky minions. <laughs> the stare down. And again with the 2k 2d man. I got this has been working so good for him. <clears throat> Here we go to jump in. Ah, uh, Roy trying to go for the grab. I get a noticing it, jumping out of it, but couldn't punish it. 
We go to reflect. And the big vortex to go underneath. That was such a big bet. It's not enough to kill though. Are we gonna see a reflect right there from I get up? And we don't. That was a backdash caught by the jumping. Yes, unfortunately for Hagiara. Okay, on to the next battle. Usui Gold versus Ibushigin Roy. Let's see how who comes out on top. Who will send the other uh, out of the tournament? We shall see uh, in a couple of minutes. Okay, this is going to be the run back for Roy. Usui Gold uh, resorting to using Johnny, though. The, person, the character was not able to take a, um, a match off of Roy, though. But we'll see how this turns out. And here we go with the Wild Assault from Roy, guaranteeing him a hard knockdown. And here we go with the nice execution from Roy, winning it, winning the first round of this match with a perfect. And let's see how this spins out. Big 6p, that 6p went so far. Yes. From Roy wants the corner pressure. Unfortunately for him, Lucy is out of the corner. Wow, Roy, man, the cojones on this man. Ah, that was probably an execution error, I suppose. Roy with the wall splat using the gun flame, getting the wall break. And here we go with the grab, Roy getting the extension, but dropping it, still gets the far S counter hit, which is enough for him to get the kill. Oops, sorry. Essentially the other way around, Let's see how this spins out. And on to the next battle. Okay, it seems a little bit better apparently. Here we go with the gun flame. Ah, okay, it's button check. I think. Okay, good. Okay, it's button check, I guess. Ah, uh, no, it's not. Okay, they're really going at it. Okay, my bad. Okay, anyways, here we go. On to the... It, it, it looked like button check. Anyways, here we go with the uh, 6S for the wall break. Let's see if Roy... Ah, Roy getting hit. Fortunately for him, Usui couldn't quite get anything out of it. Usui going... Ooh, forcing Roy to pop the burst and getting scooped by the 2K duty. Big counter hit from Roy. Getting the side switch. And gonna get that wall break. Wow. That was definitely a Tyrant Rave uh, attempt from Roy. Wow, nice scoop right there from Roy. Forcing Usui Booty to pop the burst and getting hit. Good stuff from Roy. Taking the lead one round. Well, one match and one round. Let's see how this spins up. Big close S counter hit though. Roy forcing Usui in the corner. Lucy having to eat it. Eat it for days. Very nice tick from Lucy though. Getting hit by the forest though. Let's see how this spins out. Good lord, man. Lucy having his plate full, not gonna lie. And Roy getting, getting it with a perfect, by the way. Good stuff. Here we go. Go, Lucy. That booty. Trying to put the yo-yo on the screen. Ooh, that was close. Absolutely no entire there. Ooh, gets the jump in the yo-yo in, if I might say. Wow, that was sick, and that connected too. That was a full combo, guys. What uh, Usibuli just did right there. That was sick. Ah, we are going to have, yep, the wall break. With the overdrive. So guaranteed knockdown. Good stuff from Musi Gold, man. Ah, I couldn't quite get the follow-up, though. And Roy getting the hit. Gonna get the extension with the Roman Cancel. Almost didn't get the wall bounce, though. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh! Roy, man, getting hit by the DP from Musi. <clears> hmm. <throat> Ah, so this ne. So this yo gold ru es tteu. Kondo no usui eto usui san no eto namae no tsuzuki ga Bridget janakte Johnny janakte Gold tteu koto wa osoraku so desu ne, chokan ka to omoimasu ne, osoraku. 
<laughs> まだ使ってないんですけどね。Anyways, here we go with Bridget、uh, with Usui trying to get the corner positioning. Oh, getting into two HS. Entire should be able to get the, the overdrive. And here we go. Hard knockdown guaranteed. We go with the jump in. Ooh, Lord. Good stuff from. Ah, man. Usui Gold getting hit. By the wake up DP from Roy. Who's gonna get a side switch as well? Big forest counter hit and gets the juggle, man. That was sick. Goes for the low. And the vortex. And here we go with the jump. In. Oh, no. Are you serious? Wake up DP. And the tab does for the kill. Good stuff from Roy. Taking it a clean. Might be the last.、Uh, Ibushi. Yeah, Ibushi's name. A little bit long, let me. I'll see. ED is. Just not what I said. ED is. Okay, let's do it like this. It's a bit too long. ED is. Oh, there we go. That's better. Here we go. Okay, sorry for the wait. And here we go. This is the grand final. Ibushigin、uh, Lore versus Mugi. Mugi sits in the winner's side of the bracket, meaning that he only needs one set in order to send Roy out of the tournament. And Mugi, being extremely explosive today, gets the first round extremely convincingly. Let's see how this pans out. Big Beyblade time right there from Mugi. Getting the juggle and the wall break. Good lord. Okay, what is Roy gonna do? Nice check right there from Mugi. I wanted to enter, but unfortunately, got thrown off from the Bandit Bringer.、Hmm. Okay, here we go. The corner pressure from Roy, forcing Mugi to pop the weed. Yellow r o o m a n cancel. Mugi using a lot of resources just to get back some real estate space. Too far for the 6 HS though. And Roy is gonna take full advantage of this opportunity to get a hard knockdown. Here we go with the jump in. And Mugi with the extension station too far. Good lord. Oh lord, good recognition station from Roy. That being said, ah,、uh, and ooh, Mugi was on the verge of exploding. He was on the verge of exploding right there. Saved by the bell. Mugi takes the first match. Let's see if Roy can adjust. We shall see. Good lord. Nicely delayed bandit bring right there from Roy. Managed to land right on top of Mugi. Let's see how this spins out. Mugi still wary of the DP of Roy, that being said. Okay, nice damage from Mugi. Ah,、uh, Mugi getting the hit. Should be able to not get the kill.、Though. And gets the kill with the 6 speed. Good stuff from Mugi. Let's see how this spins out. On to the next battle. Mugi bringing the heat in the corner, wanting Roy to pop. Press the button. Unfortunately for him, Roy pressed the DP button. Wow. Roy navigating across and in between the normals of Nagori Yuki. Let's see how this pans out. Nice grab from Roy. Goes for the safe. Ah, jump! Gets the wall break and gets the kill with the Tyrant Rave. Rave! Good stuff from Roy. Okay, one round apiece. Roy absolutely needs this one if he wants a semblance of、uh, tying things up. Wow, big wake up DP, man. And the clash on it, too. That was sick. Oh, man, Roy sniffing that command grab out. Forcing Mugi to pop the burst.、And、here we go with the blocks. Roy getting hit by the fart. By the standing K into the 6 HS. Okay, Mugi getting the wall break. Gonna benefit from the positive bonus. Wow, man. 
That was a pretty... Oh, Lord. Nice backdash from Moogie getting the kill. That was sick. What a freaking awareness from Moogie. Noticing that Roy had committed to the Sending K. And the Sending K was already too... Uh, too... Uh, too uh, was already out. So Moogie could not contest it. So what he did is use the invincibility frame of the... Uh, the invincibility frames of the backdash in order not to get hit by it and using the slowdown of the Roman cancel that he activated earlier managed to whiff punish it with the forest. Wonderful uh, decision making from Mugi. Most people would have tried to 6p and get scooped by the the, the standing K's uh, active, active frames. So yeah, very very nice awareness from, from, from Mugi. And here we go with the, ah, the mixes, the schmixes. Roy. Putting one on the board. Let's see how this spins out. Okay, no entire red there. Mogi finding the opening with the standing K. Getting a full combo into wall break. See how this spins out. Big Fukio ride. Right into Roy. This is probably not what Mugi wanted. Mugi trying to outpace the forest of, of Roy. Gutsy DP right there for Roy. They didn't even, uh, they didn't even uh, roaming cancel it. <clears throat> wow, big 6p. Straight into the freaking... That was sick, man. Sick. Moogie straight into the, uh, the, the overdrive. Good stuff from Moogie. Careful there. Roy does have two bars. Oh, almost got the kill. And gets the kill with the standing, yes. Good stuff from Moogie. We are at tournament point. Who is gonna take it? We shall see. Who took it last time, though? Let's see how this spins out. Mm. Last time. Big Volcanic Viper. Not get to get okay. And Roy not wanting to go down without a fight. Gets the wall break and the hard knockdown. Just the jump in. Uh, wanting to oh, she wanted to... He definitely wanted to have the bait with on the yellow Roman cancel. Mugi getting the hit with the clone, but not enough. Oh, big closest. Here we go with Roy. Ah, oh, getting hit. No, not like this. Well, Lord. Oh, Lord, the trades and Mugi prevails right at the end with a gut. <laughs>